Hi, friends. Come on in. Hello there, friends. Come on in. I know I didn't give a warning. Uh, I was supposed to give a warning when I was going live, but I couldn't. I was busy. Come on in, friends. We can play a little trivia if you like. Caught me at the right time. Really? I just walked in. Oh, really? Oh, okay, cool. Um, I know I had mentioned I may do the live at 3 o'clock uh, Pacific, but I just couldn't. I just barely got really, literally. Okay, cool. So you have time to play at least for an hour or so, Audi? Let's see, I think I have my pin here. Where did I leave my pin? There it is. Did you see my thumbnail for the uh, last night's or yesterday's um, trivia? Put you and uh, Tom. No guarantees, wife on way home. Oh, okay, no problem, Audi, no problem. Okay, so let's just begin. We can just go ahead and start. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, Audi. So I went to the thrift store today and I found some new cards and my kids were playing with them. They have the other half downstairs. They're playing. So these are the ones they already said. So we can get started and just, uh, just play and have a little fun. <clears throat> okay. First card. First question. Who wrote the children's book, Green Eggs and Ham? No multiple choice on these. Who wrote the children's book, Green Eggs, Green Eggs and Ham? Da, da. Oh, I was looking for music. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Give me question marks if you, if you don't know the answer. Dr. Seuss, correct. Dr. Seuss. Okay. Let's see. What should be applied for? Which should be applied first? Yeah, you're winning. You're in the lead. Uh, which should be applied first? Lipstick or lip liner? <laughs> yeah, you're in the lead, Audi. What should be applied first? Lipstick or lip liner? Uh, wrong. Lip liner. Okay, question. Okay, uh, no, that one isn't a good question. So basically what this game is about, it's called Battle of the Sexes, where you have these. I've been doing it wrong all these years. <laughs> you have... Cards for women and cards for men to see if, I think, to see if you know the opposite. But um, I'm just going to mix them up. So let's see. Next question. Uh, according to the best-selling relationship book, if men are from Mars, where are women from? Yes, boy, you got one up. Venus, hey, Venus. Hi, host, just standing by you, though, do not know that game. No problem, Venus. If you know any, um, if you know any of the answers to the question, just feel free to answer. Type, type in the answer. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Speak of the devil. The answer was Venus, and Venus Lopez popped in. I'll go ahead and write your name down anyways, Venus. Okay. White linen is a perfume made by which cosmetic company? White linen. 
<laughs> white linen is a perfume made by which cosmetic company? And so far, there's no multiple choice. Uh, Venus, you have a partially right. So I guess I'll go ahead and give you the point. It's Estee Lauder. You're just missing the E in the front of the S. So I'll go ahead and give you the point, Venus. Estee Lauder. That was good. You chimed in. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do a couple from the men's pile. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. What sort of a drill would you use to make a hole in a brick? Remember, there is no uh, multiple choice. So what sort of drill would you use to make a hole in a brick? That's not what it says here. Audi. Oh, Urban Outdoorsman, he got it. It's Hammer Drill. Welcome, Urban Outdoorsman. Let me go ahead and put you down in case you want to stay a while. Okay, he got it. A Hammer Drill. All righty. Name the actor who appeared in the movie Star Wars, The Mosquito Coast and Patriot Games. Name the actor who appeared in the movie Star Wars, The Mosquito Coast and Patriot Games. First to answer on my end of the screen gets a point. Name the actor who appeared in the movies Star Wars, The Mosquito Coast and Patriot Games. Five, four, three, two. I can't believe none of you got this. Harrison Ford. Oh, you came in after I said it, Venus. Harrison Ford. Okay, let's see. We'll do another pile from the... Yeah, after the fact. Are you guys lagging? Urban says, darn it. Hey, Fail Army. Welcome. Nice to see you. Welcome to the live. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for coming in. If you all uh, don't mind thumbs up in my live, I'd appreciate it. I appreciate you all stopping by. Okay, so next question. In which Olympic sport? Oh, good. I'm glad you're doing okay, Fail Army. I'm doing good myself. Thank you for asking. So we're playing some trivia here. Here's the next question. In which Olympic sport did the Dream Team complete? Compete, sorry. In which Olympic sport did the dream team compete? Yes, Urban Outdoorsman got it first, basketball. Basketball it is. Okay, we'll do one more from the men's pile and then we'll go back to the women's pile. Um, okay, who can tell me this one? First one who answers gets a point. BMW stands for what? Ha ha, uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, uh-oh, because of the men's cards and then the women's card coming up. BMW stands for what? Wow, Urban Outdoorsman is, <laughs> is on a roll and Hey, New York Scratcher, welcome. How are you, my friend? Fail Army said Berlin Motors. Welcome to the live, New York Scratcher. Appreciate you being here. So Urban Outdoorsman, you got a point. Okay, let's see here. Who was the only person to play in the NFL game and the MLB game in the same day? Doing good. Thank you for asking yourself. I'm doing good. Thank you so much. I'll repeat the question. Who was the only person to play in the NFL game? Uh, Fail Army got it with Sanders. I'll take the first or last name. 
So fail army, you got a point. Dean Dion Sanders. Okay. Mm. Not according to this one. Not according to this game, um, Urban Outdoorsman. It says right here, Deion Sanders. Question. In football, a 50-yard field goal is worth how many more points than a 20-yard field goal? What? Two. I was trying to say boo. Bo Otto? Oh, Bo Jackson. I got gotcha. you. Uh, none. Only one. Well, okay, I'll tell you here. It says the answer is zero. Both are worth three points. Was that a trick question? I will fail all of it. It's okay, Venus. We're going to move on to the female ones now. Bo Jackson is what you meant to say. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so... We're going to the female questions. What color is the Little Mermaid's hair? First one to answer gets a point. What color is the Little Mermaid's hair? Fail Army. Oh, Audi, you came in first saying red. Yes, you got it, sir. Red. Red it is. Okay. Next one from the female one. Uh, dried dill seeds are known to be excellent to use as a stomach, uh, excuse me, as a muscle relaxant digestive aid or on the skin. What? Scratch that. That one doesn't make sense. What kind of starch do you use to thicken sauces? What kind of starch do you use to thicken sauces? Fail Army came in first with corn. Yep. Corn starch. Correct. Correct. You got it. Let me put on a little tunes here. Put a little background music. Oh, hey, beautiful wife. Howdy. When I was looking down at my phone, I look up and I thought you were telling your wife, uh, your wife walked in and you're saying, hey, beautiful wife. But there's actually beautiful wife channel. Okay. Welcome, beautiful wife. Thanks for stopping in. Not yet, huh? Okay. audi has got a little more time with us, friends, till his wife comes home. Okay, who knows this one? What is the main ingredient in baba ganoush? What is the main ingredient in baba ganoush? Audi doesn't know. Fail Army's wrong. No York scratcher stumped. I'll count down from five to one and I'll give the answer. Five, four, Three, <laughs> New York Scratcher. New York Scratcher's like this, huh? Two, one. The answer is pureed eggplant. Pureed eggplant. No, <laughs> not me. <laughs> okay, next question. What is a triangular shape? dress called eggplant sounds gross it could be if you know how to cook it it could be good if you know how to cook uh eggplant i'll repeat it again what is a triangular shaped dress called a triangular shaped dress called these are questions these questions have to do with females 
but the males can answer to see how much you know guys and gals five four three two one it's called an a-line dress an a-line dress okay third question what does a yellow rose signify remember these hey how to garden welcome my friend let's see the american wonder is back like a bet oh american wonder you're here oh there you are american wonder hey welcome my friend missing someone wrong uh how to garden got it friendship i gotta put how to garden down how to garden has a point and american wonder which is ta didn't you get i put you down yes american um yellow rose equals friendship okay let's go switch over to the main questions what do boys bathrooms have that girls bathrooms don't what do boys bathrooms have that girls bathrooms don't Audi got it. Uh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh, fail, uh, fail army got it first, according to my uh, screen. Okay, guys. So fail army, you got it. Hey, uh, Audi, since you've been with me for uh, quite a few hours yesterday, how do you like these questions better than the other the eighties questions? I think these ones are a lot more easier, don't you think? Okay, so we have um, Audi's at three points. Venus has one. Urban Outdoorsman has two. Fail Army has four. How to Garden has one. And uh, the American Wonder. Yeah, they do seem easier. Okay. Next question. How many players from one team are on the field during a rugby union match? How many players from one team are on the field? Wrong, Audi. American Wonder, wrong. Army, wrong. How many players from one team are on the field during a rugby union match? Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is... 15. 15. Okay, next question. In a relay team, what do runners exchange? In a relay team, what do runners exchange? Uh, American Wonder got it. Audi said a pole. <laughs> pole. American Wonder got it. It's a baton. One point for American Wonder. And Venus says an egg. <laughs> it's not an egg. It's a baton. Okay, this was the guys. Let's switch over to the girls' questions. I know. Venus saying they're exchanging eggs. Okay, next question. Who played the two Hardy Boys on TV? That's going to be a lot to type, huh? Who played the Hardy Boys on TV? Who played the two Hardy Boys on TV? That one might be... I mean, it may not be hard, but if you're on a phone typing it, it might be... Audi doesn't know. I don't think they were brothers because they have lots of different last names, American Wonder. So I'll go ahead and count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Sean Cassidy and Parker Stevenson. 
Anybody know who they are? I remember Sean Cassidy. I'm not that old, says uh, How to Garden. <laughs> the Hardy Boys. Yeah, the Hardy Boys on TV. Who who were they? Sean Cassidy and Parker Stevenson. Okay, next. What piece of kitchen equipment would you use to wash or drain food like pasta? What piece of kitchen equipment would you use to wash or drain food like pasta? Yes. Audi, you got it right. A colander. You got four points now, my friend. Yes, you all got it right. But the first person to answer gets it right. And my... Hold on, guys. Sun's going down. Okay. Trying to double my score. <laughs> okay, we got another one from. Let's do switch back to the men. Oop, not that one. Oop, where do they go? Okay, here we go. Um. In which sport would you encounter a bunker? In which sport will you encounter a bunker? Bunker, sorry, bunker, B-U-N-K-E-R. In which sport, Audi doesn't know. In which sport would you encounter a bunker? Yes, Venus, you got it right, it's a golf. It's golf. Let's do the 80s. Paintball. You don't like this one, uh, Fail Army? Venus, you got a point. So you have two points, Venus. What? Okay. All right, here we go. What's the male equivalent of a brownie? And no, they're not talking about the dessert. What's the male equivalent of a brownie? <clears throat> Audi doesn't know. Yes, American Wanderer, you got it. It's a Cub Scout. Definitely doubled now, American Wanderer. Okay, let's see. We're going to the female pile. Traditionally, who pays for a wedding? Yeah, double my score. Yep, you sure did. So the next question is, traditionally, who pays for a wedding? Oh, actually... Ah, okay, American Wonder. Okay, first of all, Venus wrong. It's not the groom. American Wonder said the father, and then Audi said wife, parents, and then American Wonder finished and said of the bride. And the answer is the bride's family. So let's see. I'll go ahead and put wife parents. So uh, who said that? Let me see. The father of the bride. I'll go ahead and give it to you, American Wonder. Hey, Curtis. Welcome back, my friend. Thanks for stopping in, Curtis. Rattle trap, I mean. Everyone knows you as rattle trap. We got rattle trap in the house, my friend. That's one of my good friends. Curtis, Rattletrap, and uh, Francis. You here to play for a while, uh, Curtis, with a little bit of uh, trivia for a while? Probably go for, um, it's, yeah. Hey, Francis. Hey, Curtis. Welcome, guys. Thanks for stopping in. 
And the TAW is bringing up the rear and surging forward. You got it. Good. How you feeling, uh, Francis? Okay, let's go to next one. How to get the kids in bed. It's been fun. Oh, okay. Thanks for stopping in, How to Garden. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a good evening. Okay, so we're going into the male's questions here. What, what sport uses foils, sabers, and epis? What sport uses foils, sabers, and epis? Epis, epis. Audi got it first with fencing. Yes, sir. Audi's at five. Okay, next question. In what sport is there a technique called a header? In what sport is there a technique called a header? Yes, Audi, you got it. Audi got it. Audi's at six. Soccer. That was that one. Sword fighting? That wasn't the answer. Okay, who knows this one? What was Princess Diana's maiden name? What was Princess Diana's maiden name? Venus got it. Spencer. Venus has three points. Venus got it. Venus has it. Okay, here, here's this one. You guys should know this one. In the children's lullaby, Rockabye Baby, where is... Okay, Audi, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you stopping by, my friend. You went away with six points. Have a good evening, Audi. In the children's lullaby, Rockabye Baby, where is the baby? In the children's lullaby, Rockabye Baby, where is the baby? Yes, got it right, Curtis. The treetop. Venus said the crib. That's what I said earlier. Curtis got the point. Next question, what mammal's bones, that was a long time ago for me, <laughs> I know. What mammal's bones were used in the first corsets? Failed army, you might want to refresh. I think you're coming in. Wow, how did you know, uh, Venus? Venus, you got it right. I didn't know that one. American Wanderer got it too, but uh, my screen, Venus's answer came in first. Okay, next one. What is the main ingredient in guacamole dip? What's the main ingredient in guacamole dip? First one to answer gets the point. Rattle trap got it. Avocado. You're up two. And American Wonder doesn't care. <laughs> you don't like avocados or guacamole, American Wonder? Okay. All right. What is, oh, you don't. Okay. 
Yeah, some people don't like avocado. My son didn't like it for quite a while. And then after so many years, he likes it again. But some people don't like it. I have a friend whose husband, uh, she says her husband doesn't like cilantro because it tastes like dish soap or something. Tastes like Don dish soaps, uh, he says. Okay, so next question. What is hi-fi short for? What is hi-fi short for? What is hi-fi short for? Hi-fi. That's not what it says here, American Army. I definition, stereo, high fidelity. American Wonder, yep, you got it. High fidelity. American Wonder, got it. American Wonder, you're at four. Dolby Stereo, Venus says. No, ma'am, it's high fidelity. Okay, which U.S. Whoop whoop. Yep, you got four. Um, four American Wonder. Whoop whoop is right. Okay, uh, next question: Which U.S. general in World War II left the Philippines and vowed, "I shall return." Which U.S. general in World War II left the Philippines and vowed, I shall return? Venus, you got it. General MacArthur. Yes, you got it. Venus, you're at five. America Wander says Patton. Why are you answering again, Venus? I said you won. <laughs> oh, you're adding his first name. Yeah, yeah. General Douglas MacArthur, Venus, you're right. Army says Custer. Wrong army. All right, I won't ask that question. Okay, what do you call the equipment? Oh, sorry. What do you call the implement used to serve soup? What do you call the implement used to serve soup. And no, it's not a spoon. What do you call the implement used to serve spoon? I gotta see if one of my... What do you call it, guys? There we go. Let's see who got it first. American Wanderer got it first with ladle. Now you got five points, my friend. Five points, American Wanderer. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I said at the beginning, fail army, I said, and no, it's not a spoon they're looking for. Okay, who founded the Chanel Company? Who founded the Chanel Company? Who founded the Chanel Company? What happened to my music stopped? American Wonder says number five. <laughs> no, not Carl Lagerfeld. Not, sh not uh, number five. Could you, let me see. No, you didn't say it right. Black me. No, who founded the Chanel company? Not Beyonce. According to the card, it's not Beyonce or Black me or Lagerfield. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and count down. Five, 
four, three, two, one. The answer is Coco Chanel. Who founded the Chanel company? Coco Chanel. Nobody got a point. Okay, next one. Red butter and endive are all types of what? Red butter and endive are all types of what? First one to answer gets the point. Wrong, Venus. No, American Wonder, no. The color red, comma, butter, comma, endive are all types of what? I'm gonna count from down from five. Squash, wrong. <laughs> Wrong, Army. Five, four. You guys don't know Endive? That's a dead giveaway. Five, four, three, two, one. They're types of lettuce. Red lettuce, butter lettuce, and endive lettuce. They're types of lettuce. Nobody got a point. Okay, carrots. Nope, not type of carrots. Okay, next question, guys. What would you use a pumice stone for? What would you use a pumice stone for? What would you use a pumice stone for? Heels, yes, you got it. You're at six, American Wanderer. Rabbit food, a pumice stone? No. Venus, what does that mean? Four, four? Traditionally, what, what, oh, sorry. Next question. Traditionally, why would a, oh, foot. Yeah, the heel, foot, American Wonder, got it. Next question. Traditionally, why would a bride wear a white wedding dress? Why would a bride wear a white wedding dress? Yes. Joy, look who's here, everyone. Joy's here. Rattle trap, you got it. Hi, Joy, and uh, Joy, you got it too. But the first person to answer on my screen gets the point. Welcome, Joy. Nice for you to stop in. Appreciate you stopping by, my friend. How are you these days, Joy? Rattle trap, you have three, three points. I'm glad you came by, Joy. We're doing a little uh, trivia here. Okay. Cold, waiting on snow. Yeah, I heard we're supposed to, well, not here locally in my area, but I heard there's supposed to be three, um, three uh, storms coming in, I think this week or next week. Look at these amazing people here. Oh, yeah. Y'all got to see Joy. Joy, Rattletrap, everybody, even um, everybody in this chat are really great channels okay friends so the next question which highly pass oh excuse me start over please call me Corey okay Corey thank you we'll call you Corey Venus says hi Joy Stewart Okay, everyone ready for the next question? You ready, Corey? Okay, here we go. 
which highly pressured pressurized piece of charcoal is known as a woman's best friend which highly pressurized piece of charcoal is known as a woman's best friend Corey got it right a diamond you're at five now Corey. the diamond yep joy got it diamond okay next question which actress played samantha in the tv series bewitched which actress played samantha in the tv series bewitched hey putt putt welcome yes putt putt uh elizabeth montgomery gonna put putt putt down Putt Putt got a point. Welcome, Putt Putt. Thank you for stopping into my live, my friend. Nice to have you here. Hope you're having a good evening. Oh, hey, Anne. Nice to see you. Welcome, Anne. Purple Paisley Planner is here. Thank you so much for stopping in. It's been a while since I've seen you. How are you? Thanks for stopping in. We're playing a little trivia here. <clears throat> okay, let's go on. Um, where am I at? Thank you, Army. I used to watch Bewitched on Nick at night. That's how I knew the answer. <laughs> yep, good old Nick at night. <clears throat> okay, here's one. What did Marilyn Monroe cut off to develop her signature sexy walk? What did Marilyn Monroe cut off to develop her signature sexy walk? You got it. American Wonder got it. Yep. Part of the heel. Yep. Her heel. Not her toe. <laughs> My son asked me that and I said her ribs. I thought she cut one of her ribs off. American Wonder, you got that point her heel you're at seven let's see who's leading okay audi left us at five, uh, six venus has five um corey has five how to garden left already the american wonder has seven rattle trap has three putt putt has one and joy just came in so she's she's gonna work at hers Okay, next one. Okay. Let's do um, one from here. What is the zone? What does that say? What did Corey just say? That was Marilyn Manson who got rid of a rib. Oh, really? What is the zone? I didn't know that. I don't know too much about Marilyn Manson, but I didn't know that. What is the zone? No, that's not what they're looking for. Could be tricky. I don't know. Maybe too many. No, Venus is not an area. That's not what they're looking for. No, Purple Paisley. Anyone else want to try and answer what is the zone? A mental state. <laughs> joy. No, Joy. No, no, no. Nobody got it. Okay. The answer is a diet plan. The zone diet plan. I guess it was a little tricky. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Which makeup company produces smudge proof lipstick? Is it Revlon, Maybelline, or Max Factor? I stay on the seafood diet. Yeah, me too, Joy. First one to get it right is Purple Paisley, Maybelline. It is Maybelline. You got one point, my dear. 
One point for Purple Paisley. Woohoo! Maybelline, why can't you be true? Yep, that's uh, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. My dad always listened to Chuck Berry. I grew up listening to Chuck Berry. Let's see. Okay. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yep. It looked like it ended up being Maybelline after all, Corey. <laughs> okay, friends, you ready for the next question? Elizabeth Taylor launched her own brand of perfume called White Blank. What's fill in the blank? Elizabeth Taylor launched her own brand of perfume called White Blank. Joy got it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, purple got it. Came in first. On my screen, guys, it's what's showing on my screen. Purple Paisley got it. So, another one for purple. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, boy. I don't even know if I should read that one. Let's see. Let's switch to uh, the, men, the men's the men's card. <clears throat> Let's see. In what sport would you find the term triple double? Oh, you like it, Purple Paisley? I'm glad. I'm glad you're here too. Yeah, I thought maybe doing something a little fun would... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh... Corey said baseball, Joy said hockey, Putt-Putt came in saying basketball. Yep, Putt-Putt, it's basketball. And Purple, you got it too. However, the correct answer was first given by Putt-Putt. So Putt-Putt, you have two points. Okay, let's see. Hockey, it's call a hat trick. Okay, how about this one, guys? Question is, colloquially, what is the way to a man's heart? What is the way to a man's heart? Oh, uh, this one is, okay. Purple Pace, they said food, but what they want on the card, it says stomach. So I have to give that to Corey. Corey, you got the point, my friend. It's stomach is what they're looking for. Personally, I would have said food myself, but what is the way to a man's heart? Through his stomach? Oh, you're lagging? You, maybe you need a refreshed American Wonder. And it looks like Corey's flexing his biceps so we can see his strength. <laughs> All right, this next question is going to have a little typing in here, okay? So those of you on your phone, hopefully you have fast fingers. Name the, my answers going in slow too is that something on my end or I don't think that's on my end is it you guys think you might need a refresh or something try refreshing maybe this well refreshing just refreshed try and refresh Curtis I can't get any Curtis, have you tried to refresh? If you pause and speak, it lags. Really? It does? I didn't know that. Okay, so I'll just keep going. I won't have a breath of fresh air to go. Next question. Name the three stooges. Name the three stooges. Sorry if you're on a cell phone and you have to type in that answer. Name the three. Oh, boy. Wait, hold on. Oh, boy. Everyone's fast. What the heck? I didn't expect that. 
Let's see who did it first. Actually, back from the sky got it. Hey, back from the sky, welcome. You got a point. Back from the sky. <clears throat> you all got it right. Let's see, back from the sky, Putt Putt, Corey, American Wonder, Purple Paisley, Rattle Trap, Joy. Hi, back from the sky. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Larry, Curly, Mo, and Shemp. They wanted, let me see. Yeah, Larry, Curly, and Mo is who they are. They're all, I didn't know they were all brothers. You know that back in, uh, I just realized that like maybe last year sometime that they were all brothers. I didn't know they were all brothers. <clears throat> okay, this one might be tricky. It might be tricky, but let's give it a go. I never did like, you know what? Honestly, back from the sky, I don't care for the Three Stooges. I don't like that, <laughs> that kind of humor. And then Puck Puck's like, Nyak, 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 nyak. <laughs> Let's see, they wanted the original ones. Shemp came in after Curly passed away. Yeah, that's true. They still play those. I still see those. I don't watch it, but I still see it on the guide. And Purple Paisley loves the Three Stooges. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, my husband loves them. My kids, my family likes them. I'm the only one that doesn't like them. I don't know. I think there's some that are, some episodes are good. Okay, friends, next question. I don't, this might, I don't want to say it's tricky, but I have them in a box set on Blu-ray. My parents said when they were kids, they didn't like them. Do your parents like them now, Pup Pup? Okay, next question, guys. What? Would you be served if you ordered black and tan in an Irish pub? What would you be served if you ordered black and tan in an Irish pub? Mountain oysters. What? No, I don't think their opinion ever changed on them. I don't know for sure, though. A Guinness. You know what, Joy, if this is what Guinness is about, everyone's saying Guinness, a beer. Okay, let me just, before you guys bash me, this is the answer according to the card, okay? I don't know much about beer. But the answer is a glass of half ale and half stout. Is that what a Guinness is? I don't know who to give, beer cocktail? A <laughs> beer cocktail. Here's the, uh, right here. I know my phone's not, right here. A glass of, what does that say? A glass of half ale and half stout. Beer cocktail is probably the closest correct answer. Beer cocktail? Okay, like I said, I don't know much about it. So, I don't know who to give the point to. Give it to Purple Paisley because she said beer cocktail. What is a Guinness? I know Guinness is a beer, but I don't really know. Back in the sky saying beer cocktail is probably the closest correct answer. Now, I don't want to cheat no one. I mean, there is points, but whoever said half and half, fun game. You can give to the first beer. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. Joy chimed in with Guinness. I, I guess that's what Guinness is. Is it half ale and half stout? American Wanderer said... 
Guinness is a beer that tastes like black coffee. <laughs> Ew. Google, huh? Should I Google it? Okay, I'll Google it. Okay, hold on, friends. Ha, ha, ha. Hold on, let me Google it. Oh, my cat scared me. She's always doing something like that. She startled me. Hold on, friends. What is a Guinness? Just give it to purple. Guinness, traditionally Irish stout beer made from roasted barley. Okay, it just says it's stout beer. Okay, we'll just give it to, um, we'll give it to purple. Purple, you have a point, ma'am. Okay, who wants, this is, this is the female, um, card stack. Hot flashes are a common symptom of which medical condition affecting women usually between ages of 45 and 50? Purple, purple chimed in again. Menopause. Yes, ma'am. You're up four points now. Men, oh, men on pause. <laughs> Joy. Men on pause. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, next question. What article of clothing did Adolf Hitler banned women from wearing. What article of clothing did Adolf Hitler ban women from wearing? Joy got it. She chimed in fast. Pants. Joy, you got a point. Woohoo! Joy got it with pants. He banned pants. Why are women's problems named after men? Menopause, menstruation, mental. <laughs> huh, that's a really good um, question there, back from the sky. That's right. Yay, Joy! Okay, y'all ready for the next one? Hey, Kenneth, welcome, my friend. We're here just playing a little trivia. Nice to have you. Thanks for joining us. <clears throat> We're just playing a little trivia here. So let's go on to the next question, friends. Kenneth says, hello, Joy. Joy says, hello, Kenny. Purple Paisley says, hello, Kenneth of Kentucky. I missed the second half. Fam channel. Welcome, Ken. Okay. Next question. Kenneth says, hello, Purple. Why would you put naphthalene flake in your wardrobe? Why would you put naphthalene flakes in your wardrobe? Who knows the answer to that one? Feels like a night at the Waltons. Yes, Joy. Yes. Joy, you got another point. Yes. Never heard of it. I guess that's the ingredient in a... Uh, in the mothballs, pup pup. Woot woot. Yes, ma'am. Joy got it. Woot woot.
Let's see. Okay, next one. This is uh, the women's card, okay? Female. Uh, question. What do women often refer to as their crow's feet? What do women refer to as their crow's feet? Purple Paisley. Hmm. I have to give it to Back from the Sky because Purple said eyes. American Wander said wrinkles. The actual answer is wrinkles around the eyes. So uh, back from the sky, you get the point. And Joy didn't know, which is fine. Next question. What do you call a one-piece baby outfit that combines pants and a top? What do you call a one-piece baby outfit that combines pants and a top? No. Mm. I think that's a brand, isn't it? There, it's the card. The answer is specific. It's not a onesie. Let's go with what the card wants. What do you call a one-piece baby outfit that combines pants and a top? Purple, you got it. It was either a romper or a jumpsuit. So purple, you got it. Purple, you're up at to five now. You have five points. Okay, let's see here. Yay, purple. She's got five points. Who else is here? Uh, the American Wanderer, you still have seven. Hey, Mr. J, welcome, my friend. How are you? Got to run. I'm lagging too badly. Got to do the same edits. Okay. Thanks for stopping in, American Wanderer. I'll see you next time, my friend. You had seven points. How are you doing tonight, Mr. J? So nice to see you. Bye, American Wanderer. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you coming by, my friend. Okay, next question. Which Oscar winning film was the last starring actor Henry Fonda? Which, oh good, I'm glad to hear Mr. J. I'm doing pretty good myself, thank you. Which Oscar winning film was the last starring actor Henry Fonda? Yes, American Wonder. You got it. Golden Pond. Wow, you're at six now. What fabric is heavier? Okay, here's the next question. What fabric is heavier? Is it chiffon, georgette, or satin? I've never seen that movie, Joy. i never seen uh, Golden Pond. What fabric is heavier? Chiffon, Georgette, or Satin? Joy says Satin, Satin, Satin. The answer is Satin. Joy, you got it, my friend. You got it first. Joy, you're up to three points now. Okay, let's see. This was a late... Okay, let's go to the men's pile. Yay, Joy! You gotta see it. Okay, I will. I will. I'll see if it's on uh, on stream somehow. I'll, I'll look for it, Joy. I'll definitely take a look at it. On Golden Pond. That's with Katherine Hepburn, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's see. What do you call the flat ring that's used to tighten a joint? and prevent leaks in taps. 
You never saw on Golden Pond, Jen? No, Mr. Uh, Mr. J, never have. Uh, Purple Paisley, yes, a washer. You came in first, my friend, on my screen, so now you're seven. Washer, that's right. It's a washer. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up that movie. Let's see who can guess this one. How many tablespoons are in a cup of sugar? How many tablespoons are in a cup of sugar? How many tablespoons are in a cup of sugar? Purple, wrong. How many tablespoons are in a cup of sugar? Joy, you got it. 16. Woohoo! Joy's on a roll. You're up to four, Joy. Four points. 32? Yeah, sometimes it feels like it. But no, the answer is 16 tablespoons and a cup of sugar. <laughs> okay, next question. On what TV show would you find the character Elmo? What TV show would you find the character Elmo? First one to pop on my screen with the correct answer gets the point. Purple Paisley, yes. Sesame Street. Yep. Everybody got it, but on my screen, Purple Paisley came in first. You're up eight points, my dear. Okay, next one. Put Put, yep. Sesame Street. Okay, next. Curtis, are you still here, Curtis? Which famous actor starred as a warrior? Yeah, Alma loves to play anything. Which famous actor starred as a warrior in the 1982 movie Conan the Barbarian? Back from the sky? Yep, you got it. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Back from the sky, got it. Okay. Let's see. Name too long. I know, I would have taken Arnold Schwartz or something. Um... Talk texting purple. Oh, is that what you're doing up uh, back from the sky? That's a tip. So next time I go into a next time I go into a trivia live stream, you just press the. Okay, good. That's smart. Okay, so that's a smart way to do it. Yep, that's right. Arnold had a crazy last name. He sure did, Mr. J. In which city is the TV series Ally McBeal set? <laughs> That's my son coming into talk text doesn't speak hillbilly. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> Texting makes me look smart like I know how to. No, Purple Paisley, it's not Seattle. Which city is a TV series Ally McBeal set? Alaska. Wrong. Russia. Wrong. Chicago, no, Joy. Nope, Cincinnati, uh, not Cincinnati. Is that one? Yeah, he's calling me. No way. Okay, yes, Joy, you got it. Boston. <laughs> Joy, you got five points. Where's the confetti, Mom? 
I know, I need confetti. <laughs> can you bring, uh, look at, can you bring her a scoop too? Total guess. That's good, Joy. That was a good guess. I would have never guessed that one. Yeah, I've, I've heard of the show, but I've never seen it. I don't know where I would have guessed. Who knows what I would have guessed. Okay, friends. So, let's see. Lady fingers are what type of food? This one was a stumper because my answer was different from what the card says. Oh, Joy, you got it. Cookies. I didn't know that. I thought lady fingers were those sandwiches, those English sandwiches. You got it, Joy. You're at uh, six points now, ma'am. Purple said chicken. <laughs> That's chicken fingers, Purple. <laughs> oh, yeah. Used to make tiramisu. Oh. I've never tried... Um, lady fingers before for some reason i always thought lady fingers were those little uh english um like those cucumber sandwiches actually i've never realized chickens have hands how did you get that okay this will be a good one here let's go to the guys you're doing good, Joy. Yep, you're doing good, Joy, all right. Okay, let's see who knows this one. Next question. How many Rocky movies are there? You're welcome, Joy. How many Rocky movies are there? Exactly, too many. <laughs> but that's not the answer. Not four, not six. According to the card, okay? I don't know when these cards were printed, but according to the card, it's not four and it's not six. Back to the sky? Yes. Back to the sky, got it. It is five. You got three points, my friend. Now seven, eight. Hey, yeah, exactly. I would not have guessed five. Too many, yep. Too many movies, that's right. Nice try, Mr. J. Okay, next question, friends. In a game of pool, what color is the eight ball? In a game of pool, what color is the eight ball? Back to the sky, you got it first. Black. Yep, black. Joy, putt putt, y'all got it right. But back to the sky, got it first. Black. Okay, let's see. Moving on. Okay, let's see who knows this one. Which company makes the Corvette? Which company makes the Corvette? Sorry, had to get some Pomeranians. My pom okay, no problem. Eight ball in the corner pocket. It says putt putt. Back to the sky, yes. Chevrolet, I'll take Chevy. No problem. Uh, Purple Paisley. Um, actually the card says Chevrolet and then parentheses, it says General Motors right here. So, uh, who got it first was, um, back from the sky, I think. Yeah, back from the sky, you got it with Chevy. Now you have five points. Okay, here's a question here. Which direction do you screw in a light bulb? Is it clockwise or counterclockwise? 
Which direction do you move? Do you screw in a light bulb? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Purple says counterclock. Back says clockwise. The answer is clockwise. And Joy does what I still do, Joy. I still say righty tidy and lefty loosey. <laughs> I still do that. Uh, who got it? Um, back to the sky, you got it. Six points. It was a good one, huh? Made you kind of think. Yeah, I would have went like this. Uh, clockwise. Yes. Do you still, do you, anybody do that still? Uh, I'm 47 and I still do uh, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. I still do that. <laughs> Joy, Joy gave me her thumbs up. Okay, next question, friends. What sports team plays at Wrigley Field? What sports team plays at Wrigley Field? Yes, Joy, you got it. The Cubs. Joy got it. Joy, you have seven points, Joy. And back from the sky generally said a baseball team. Pat Pat said Chicago Cubs. Yes. Joy's dad loved them. I hate watching sports. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm not really into football. Let's see. Which okay, here's the next question, friends. Which Purple loves watching sports. I think I can sit and watch baseball. I definitely like, definitely love going to the baseball field and watching. And um, hockey, I would much rather play sports than watch. Yeah, that's true. I'm a big baseball fan, Putt Putt says. Purple says, grew up in a sports family. Ah, that's why. Watching baseball is like watching paint dry. <laughs> watching paint dry. Purple says, my dad and brothers watch it. <laughs> watching paint dry. I guess that's how it feels for me too, watching, especially football. Football, I'm not a fan of. Okay, friends, next question. Which chess piece has the lowest value? And I don't even know. I don't even play chess, so I wouldn't have done this answer. Joy got it. It's the pawn. Joy's at a whopping eight. Mr. J, yep. Pawn. Let's see. So, Joy, purple, you two are head to head. You both are tied at eight points. Um, let's see, American, let's see, uh, Joy, Putt Putt's got two, Back from the Sky has six, Purple has eight, who else is here? Phil Army, are you still here? Oh, Mr. J, did I put Mr. J? Mr. J. Yeah, you two ladies are head to head right now. It's on. Time to catch up back from the sky. You got six points, my friend. Okay. What is the name given to a piece of jewelry worn around the ankle? What's the name given to a piece of jewelry worn around the ankle? First person gets the point. Back from the, no. Anklet, purple, you got it. It's anklet, and Joy had no idea. And back from the sky said bracelet. 
It's an anklet. Da, 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 what about my cat's food? Oh, I forgot. Ooh, why are you... Have, Where did this come uh, from? Something, Mom. <laughs> my son's presented me with a box of oh. lint chocolates. And different varieties. Did you get my cat's food? I forgot. Thanks, How son. You you, You're wow. That's pretty nice. Where? Yeah. Probably needs her food. Did you take her bowl? Uh, Yummy chocolate. Oh my gosh, lint. Yes. Purple paisley. Yes, so sweet. I think um I think my husband brought it home. Okay, friends, let's see. So who got that point? Uh purple, right? Purple, how many points did I say you had already? You and Joy were head to head at eight, and then you just answered. <laughs> you just answered. Um, yeah, so you're at nine now. And everybody, I just want to make an announcement that Joy Stewart's middle name is Chocolate. So her name is J, her initials are JCS, Joy Chocolate Stewart. <laughs> Chocolate is my middle name. Hey, that's what she said. It's her middle name. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> let's see. Next, this was a female. Let's pick up a guy's. I think I'm running out of the guy cards. Let's see. Okay, how about this one? Complete this famous saying okay so complete this famous saying go ahead blank 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 complete the famous movie saying go ahead blank 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 uh back from the sky make my day yep you all got it but back from the sky on my screen you came in first so you're at seven points my friend Yes, Mr. J, make my day. Okay, friends. Yeah, that was a good one, huh? I'm catching up. Yes, you are. You're at seven. Purple's at nine. Joy's at eight. Putt-putt's at two. Mr. Jay, you can catch up, my friend. Where would you be if you were at Mile High Stadium? Where would you be if you were at Mile High Stadium? Back to the sky, wow. Uh, purple says Minnesota. <laughs> I'll go ahead and give it to, who was that? Back from the sky. Back from the sky, you're at eight points. You and Joy at our tie now. And Puppet said, heck if I know. Back from the sky said, cold place. Okay, how about this one? What is the name of the NBA team in Chicago. Pat Pat. Joy, she chimed in with bulls. Joy, you chimed in. You're at nine. Uh, you and, um, yeah, you all got it right. <clears throat> Joy came in first with the bulls which makes her tie with Purple Paisley. Hey, LTL. Hi, my friend. Welcome to my live stream. How are you? Everyone, welcome. Uh, li live to live the life, LTL. Very, very, very nice uh, YouTuber. Very sweet person. Very good supporter as well. Welcome, uh, LTL. I'm going to call you LTL. Welcome, LTL, to my live. 
I was at LTL's live last night. Very nice person. <coughs> Welcome, my friend. Oh, you just woke up? Yeah. Who's winning? You fitter? Yeah. Uh, right now we have a tie between Purple Paisley and Joy Stewart. They're both 9-9. Nine -nine. Woo! Yeah. Yep. Welcome, LTL. Nice to have you here. If you all don't know LTL, you'd like to get to know each other, get to know LTL. He's a really great supporter and a good friend. Okay, friends. So, uh -huh. next question, friends. What do you call a piece of soft suede leather used for cleaning or polishing? You can spell it how you pronounce it if you can't spell it right. <laughs> Rag. Joy, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. It's a chamois. It's pronounced chamois. My pleasure to join this live stream. Thank you, LTL. It's nice to have you here, my friend. Joy, I'm going to give you that point. Joy, you're at 10 points. Joy's leading with 10. Can Purple Paisley catch up? Will Back from the Sky pedal fast and catch up with them? Let's see who's going to be next. Who's going to get this point? Okay, how about this one? Putt-Putt, are you there, Putt-Putt? This one's for you, Putt-Putt. What sport has a full court press? I know nothing about it. What sport has a full court press? <clears throat> no purple. Back from the sky, got it with basketball. Mr. J got it. Not tennis, Joy. So uh, back from the sky, got it. Now back from the sky, basketball putt putt. Back from the sky and purple are tied nine nine. Joy's in the lead with ten. Yep. Okay, friends. Here's the next question. What does a dip? measure uh oh look out purple joy got it oil yes ma'am joy's at 11 11 points for joy eleven points for joy Way to go, Joy. That's true. Okay, next question, friends. Live the Life says, hello to you all, Purple Paisley Planner, back from the sky, hang with Mr. J and Joy Stewart. It is. I like doing these. These ones are much better than my the ones I did the past couple of live streams. Has my brain going? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here's this next question. Who is the Roman goddess of love? Remember I said Roman goddess of love. Who's the Roman goddess of love? Purple, you got it. Venus. Yep. Okay, Joy. Joy's in the lead. Helena. <laughs> Joy. Where did you get that one from? <laughs> Joy. Helena. Joy, you're still in the lead at 11. I was a guess. Purple is at 
10. Uh, Back from the Sky is at 9. Putt Putt's at 2. Come on, Putt Putt. I know you can do it, Putt Putt. Okay, next question, friends. In the fashion world, what do the initials CK stand for? In the fashion world, what do the initials CK stand for? CK. <clears throat> Back to the sky, got it. Calvin Klein, correct. Now, purple. Yep, Puppet got it. Joy, you got it. Purple got it. But back to the sky, you got it first. Okay, so uh, right now, stands purple and back to the sky are tie at 10. And Joy's in the lead with 11. Can Joy keep her first place position? Okay, how about this one? What do Kate Moss Amber Valletta and Shalom Harlow have in common. <clears throat> what do Kate Moss <laughs> Joy? <laughs> no. Back for the sky. No. Purple. Joy. No. <laughs> it's great to be here, but I'm very poor at quiz. It's okay, uh LTL. Hang hey, in, Mr. J. You got it. They're all models. Yes. Mr. J got a point, everyone. Woohoo! Mr. J. LTL, it's okay if you don't know the answers to the questions. You could just uh just put emojis in the <laughs> put emojis in the um in the chat. Just give us a smile. But uh, that was a good one. Um Joy, anorexia. It was, they're all models. Like I said, anorexia. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Mr. Jo Mr. J, you got a point, my friend. You answered it correctly. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Thanks, LTL. I think I laughed a little too hard, friends. <coughs> Give me one second. Okay, friends, <clears throat> I think I kind of scratched my throat a little when I laughed too hard. Okay, next question. Is Jim Beam Black Label aged for seven, eight, <coughs> or ten years? Yes. Sausage? What? <clears throat> Joy, you got it. It's seven. Jim Bean Black Label is aged for seven years. Miss Joy, you got it. Joy's maintaining her uh, position as first place with 12 points. <clears throat> <clears throat> that doesn't mean that Joy's a lush. She just knows her stuff. You can go into the grocery store and pass by and see that. Let's be nice now. Let's go ahead and remove this.
Okay, next question. <clears throat> what does the company Michelin make? Joy says long ago. What does the company Michelin make? Back from the sky, you got it. Tires. Yes, you all got it. Back to the sky, you got it with tires. So, Joy, you're still in the lead with 12. Back from the sky, 11. Purple, you have 10. Mr. J's one. Put put two. Okay, next one. <clears throat> next one. Caught up to purple. Woohoo. Okay, here we go. Next question. <clears throat> Traditionally, couples had another person escort them on a date. What was the official title for that person? <clears throat> oh, back to the sky, got it. Back to the sky, you are now tied with joy. Now joy and back from the sky are head to head. <clears throat> I'm coming back for you, Joy. I'm coming for you, Joy. Yes. Let's see. Next one. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> What do you call a walk-in food cupboard in a kitchen? What do you call a walk-in food cupboard in a kitchen? First one to guess. Joy got it. Pantry. I saw Joy on my screen first, so Joy, you're at 13. <coughs> And we have Back from the Sky trailing at 12. And Purple Paisley is coming up around the bin at 10. And Life Live the Life LTL said, Wow, they are so good in the ga this game. Yes, they're pretty good and quick. <clears throat> okay, next one. I'm glad you like it, Purple Paisley. I went to the thrift store today and I found this game, so I thought this would be fun. Alrighty. What is the main ingredient in risotto? I'm glad you like it. I like it too. It's kind of fun and relaxing. <clears throat> Purple Paisley. Oh, wait a minute. No, it says, what is the main ingredient in risotto? And purple, you got it with uh, rice. Rice. Purple, you are at 11, my friend. Joy, 13. Back from the sky, 12. And purple, 11. Mr. J, 1. And putt, putt, 2. <clears throat> you don't cook. No problem. I need to go back and watch the Food, <laughs> the food Network. Mm. So what do you do for food? Do you just do drive through and order out DoorDash? Never made risotto. I've never made it either. It looks, I've seen it on uh, like Food Network and stuff, but I've never tried it. Ah, okay, okay. Your wife cooks. <laughs> Thank God, that means uh, what? You're not a good cook? <laughs> Top ramen and cereal? <coughs> I 
I've never tried a purple paisley. I think we ought to, maybe that'll be one of my upcoming videos, how to make risotto. <clears throat> what do you think, Joy? When I cook, I pick up the phone and order it. Yeah, sometimes that's good too. Sometimes there's just times when you just don't want to cook. And I don't blame you either. Yes, you try it first. <laughs> Joy's like, uh, yeah, but you try it first. <clears throat> yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll try to see, find some recipes and um, a recipe. And uh, I'll try it out. Risotto. You know what other one I wanted to try too is, uh, have you guys tried polenta? <clears throat> I've never tried polenta. It looks good though. Oh, it is? I've never tried polenta. I'd have to give that a try. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's easy? Really? Huh. Purple never tried it either. Okay. I'll have to put that on my list, Joy. I'm going to try making risotto and... Um, polenta. I'm going to try polenta. My upcoming video that I have to make still is the tuna and sardine sandwich. That was a request by one of my YouTube friends. It's getting cold in here. Okay, friends, you ready for the next one? Ew, no sardine. I know, Joy, I'm not really into it, but I'm going to be a good sport and make a sandwich out of sardines and tuna. That's a fish on fish sandwich. Yuck. <laughs> hey. I'm just going to try and give it a try. One of our my YouTube YouTube friends requested I try I do uh, make a sandwich using sardines and tuna <clears throat> canned tuna yeah she says she likes it a lot she loves um, she loves uh, sardines I've never had sardines before I've never tried sardines before okay yeah. I've never tried sardines before, but I used to like sardines as a kid. Really? I think she said she tried them on pasta too before, uh, Purple. I heard they're just kind of salty. I don't know if they're fishy. I don't know what to expect, but sometime this week, I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow. Perhaps Wednesday. Oh, Joey. Thanks, Joey. We use sardines as bait. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give it a try I got the can and I went to the store a couple of days ago I think Saturday and I picked up a can of uh, <clears throat> sardines and a can of tuna so I like sardines and oil better than water I don't even know what I have them in I think they're in oil if I'm not mistaken I don't remember <clears throat> okay my friends Let's go back to the questions. Let's see if Joy can maintain her spot at number one. Okay, friends, here we go. Question. What was the theme song for the movie Ghost? What was the theme song for the movie Ghost? <coughs> Anyone? Anyone? No Googling. Joy, don't know? What was the theme song for the movie Ghost? Putt Putt? Mr. J? Joy doesn't know. Back from the Sky doesn't know. Putt Putt, Mr. J, do you know? 
purple. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to count down five, <coughs> four, three, two, one. Answer is Unchained Melody. <clears throat> Unchained Melody. I want to spend my lifetime living you. Is that the way how that song goes? I don't even know the words to that song. <coughs> So nobody got it. Purple, you said it, but you said it after I, after time was up. That's okay, uh, LTL, no problem. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so no one got that problem. <laughs> Purple, she asked Alexa. Okay, here's another question. Where would you use the product Cascade? Where would you use the product Cascade? <clears throat> Joy got it. Dishwasher. <clears throat> Joy, you're at uh, 14 points, my dear. Back from the sky, you are too late with the correct answer. <clears throat> okay, next. What would you use? Lagging. I fired Alexa. She won't wash dishes. <laughs> yeah, Joy. Fire her. Get her out. She won't do the dishes. She don't deserve to be there. Let's see. Okay, uh, next. What would you use the product Nair? for what would you use the product nair she scaring me with the way she jumps back from the sky you got it you got it you got the point you're at 13 you're trailing um you're trailing Joy by one point. Joy's got you by one point. <clears throat> Yay, Joy. Joy's giving herself a high five. High five, Joy. Okay, friends, let's see who knows this question. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Joy Tucker, I didn't even see you. Well, hello, Joy Tucker. Nice of you to stop in, my friend. How are you doing this evening, Joy? Yeah, I know Joy, um, Joy Tucker from uh, Life with Michael's channel. Doing great. Oh, good. I'm glad to I'm glad to uh, hear that, Joy. We're playing a little trivia here. There are two people named Joy in the room. Are they? Are we overjoyed? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, we're overjoyed. <laughs> That's a good one. Welcome, Joy. I'm glad to have you here, my dear. <clears throat> I kind of laughed a little too much or something. I scratched my throat. <clears> throat> okay. You're welcome, Joy. You're welcome. Let's see. Okay, let's see who can guess this answer first. What rich Greek cheese is made from sheep or goat's milk? What rich Greek cheese is made from sheep or goat's milk? First one to answer gets the point. Joy got it, feta. Joy Stewart got it, feta. Wow, Joy, you're at 15. Joy, you're at 15. Woohoo, 
Joy. <clears throat> okay, let's see who gets the next this next one. If you all are familiar with him. What kind of food is Chef Paul Prudhomme famous for? What kind of food is Chef Paul Prudhomme famous for? I need the specific answer. No, not pizza. Joy don't know. Meatballs, no. Maybe it's a style? What kind of food is Chef Paul Prudhomme famous for? I'm going to start doing my countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Cajun. He's known for Cajun food. <clears throat> Sausage. <laughs> He's famous for good food. True. Which happens to be uh, Cajun. Ha, ah, you guys got stumped, eh? I don't know what that one is. Okay, what is the meat? Did he die? I don't know if he did. I'm not sure if he's still alive or not. What is the meat in Coco Vaughn? What is the meat in Coco Vaughn? Wrong, purple. Nope, it's not steak, it's not beef, it's not horse, it's not veal. I know you're guessing. Look at Izzy, she's trying to she always does that. Swine? No. Joy, you got it. It's chicken. Joy's at 16 points, friends. And Joy Tucker said lamb. Coco Vaughn is made from chicken. That was a good guess because that total guess got you up a point. And you're in the lead, Joy, with uh, 16 points. Back from the Sky is at 13. And Purple Paisley is at 11. <clears throat> um, Mr. J is at 1. If you're still here, Mr. J. Put Put, if you're still here, you're at 2. And uh, yes, Joy Tucker, just guess. No problem. Okay, how about this one? Belts, gloves, jewelry, and handbags are all part of a woman's outfit. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Belts, gloves, jewelry, and handbags are all what part of a woman's outfit? No, not purse. I'll repeat it again. Belts, glove, Jewelry, Back from the Sky got it. It's accessories. Back from the Sky is at 14. Joy's still in the lead. Okay, I think you guys might know these ones. Okay, which actress on TV series, Friends, Married Brad Pitt in 2000. Not a bad guess for a male. That's true. Back from the sky. <clears throat> I didn't even guess that one. My son asked me that one. Jennifer. Aniston. Yes, that is the question, the answer. Back from the sky said Courtney Cox. Jennifer Aniston is the one that married Brad Pitt in 2000. Okay. Uh, purple, you get... A point, my friend. So you're at 12 points, Purple Paisley. <clears throat> okay, friends. 
Yay, that's right. Good job. Okay, next next question. What does a woman put on her eyelashes to make them look thicker and longer? Go. Purple got it. Mascara. <clears throat> Purple Paisley is sneaking up. She's at 13. Yes, Joy Tucker. Mascara. Joy Stewart, yes. Purple Paisley came in first with uh, mascara. Okay, next question, friends. What is aspartame? What is aspartame? <coughs> yes. It's a sweetener. Oh, Joy Tucker, you got it. It's a sweetener. Okay, you got a point, Joy Tucker. Woo! Joy Tucker. She got a point. Way to go. Okay, here's another one. Which actress starred in the movie musical, The Sound of Music? A muscle relaxer. <laughs> uh, let me see. No, not Judy Garland. That's the Wizard of Oz, purple. Which actress starred in the movie musical The Sound of Music? <clears throat> Come on, Joy. You got to give me last name. Look. Joy gave me first name. Now Sky is back from the sky is giving me last name. I need the full name. And Purple Paisley stole it. <laughs> Purple Paisley stole both your answers and combined it and got the answer right. Julie Andrews. It's Julie Andrews. Purple got it. Right here, friends. I know my thing's not, um, I think if I do this, let me see. Yeah, if I put my pin. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, friends, next one. She got mixed up. No problem, Purple Paisley. Okay, next question. Which actress co-starred with Humphrey Bogart in the romantic classic Casablanca? Which actress co-starred with Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca? Merlin Dietrich, no. Back from the Sky has no idea. Ingrid Bergman. Yes, Purple, you got it. Uh-oh. Joy, Purple's coming up. Joy's at 16, Purple's at 15. Back from the Sky, you're at 14, my friend. Joy Tucker, one. Mr. J, one. Putt, putt, two. <clears throat> okay, let's see who knows this one. What precious stone represents the 60th wedding anniversary? What precious stone represents the 60th wedding anniversary? 
Purple got it. Diamond. Okay, Joy, you and uh, Purple are tied now. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see who's going to win. Hmm. Let me see. Okay. How many weeks on average does a normal pregnancy last? How many weeks on average does a normal pregnancy last? That's not what they're looking for. No, Joy. Joy's no. Back from the sky, no. How many weeks on average does a normal pregnancy last? Weeks. Purple. Don't be sneaky now, Purple, and say nine months. How many weeks? Five, four, three, two, one. Forty weeks. The answer is forty weeks in a normal pregnancy. <clears throat> the answer is forty weeks. Okay, who is the eldest child of Britain's Prince Charles? Yeah, it was a tough one. Who is the eldest child of Britain's Prince Charles? Joy got it. William. Yes, ma'am. Joy's at 17. Okay, this one should be easy. All of you should guess this one. When you said Elvis, I heard Elvis. Oh, I'm sorry. Who is the eldest child of Britain's Prince Charles? Next question, friends. I'll try to enunciate better. Why would you put a lemon juice, or oh, excuse me, why would you put lemon juice on pieces of cut avocado? Keep from turning brown. Yes, purple. That is correct. You're at 15, 16, 17. You and Joy are tie. Yes, I knew you all would get it, but purple got it first. <clears throat> okay. What were Nancy Sinatra's boots made for? Purple got it. Walking. You all got it. Purple, you are at 15, 16, 17, 18. Joy's at 17. Um, okay, next one. What do you call a small? I'm not hearing the questions and you guys are already answering. Good job. Did you try to refresh back from the sky? Maybe that might be it. <clears throat> okay. What do you call a small piece of fried or toasted bread served with soup or salad? Okay, back. I'm glad you're having fun back from the sky. Hey, Jamie, you're here. Uh, I think uh, Purple got it with croutons. Hey, Journey North is in the house. Let me put you down, Journey North, in case you want to play a little here with us. Welcome, Journey North. Glad to have you here. 
as you can tell talk texting doesn't always write what you say correctly <laughs> yeah that's probably one of the downfalls welcome jamie <clears throat> hey jamie um did you see my did you see my prize my video the prize i won today i put up a video of what i won today from rock I said crouton and it wrote <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh, futon. <laughs> I saw that. I mostly just live in like trivia. That acts is awesome. Okay, J J um, Jamie, no problem. You can listen in, my friend. I appreciate you being here and spending some time with us. Okay, next one, friends. Okay, the juice of what fruit can be used to lighten hair color? The juice of what fruit can be used to lighten hair color? <clears throat> what fruit? Purple, apple, no ma'am. Purple says lemon, yes. She swooped it with lemon. That prize was really good, beautiful but deadly. Oh yes, LTL. Joy, did you see my prize I won today? Purple, you're at uh, 19. Let's see. Okay, let's, well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was really nice. It's heavy. Really, really nice. Beautiful work he does. Oh, you saw it too, Joy? Oh, nice. Okay, how about this one, friends? What fruit, okay, what fruit comes in the following varieties? Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, and Fuji. Purple Paisley got it with apple. Purple, you're at 20. Apple is correct. <clears throat> okay. Yay, she got it with, she got 20 points. I'm going to stop now. Okay, no problem. I'll probably go on for maybe, uh, maybe 10 more minutes. I think the cats are, uh, I have to head to bed. This was so fun. Thanks for coming in, Purple Paisley. It was nice to have you here. And uh, here you won 20 points, my dear. You, you were able, you got 20 points. Congrats. You have a good night, Purple Paisley. We'll see you again, my friend. Hey, cats are fighting. You're welcome, Purple Paisley. You have a good night. Sweet dreams, my friend. Hey, Izzy. Okay, my cat is fighting with my daughter-in-law's cat, so she's, I had to spray her with a little water. Flick a little water on her. <clears throat> okay. Where would you find a hospital corner? This one might be tricky. Where would you find a hospital corner? Yes, Joy, you got it. Joy, you have 18 points. Um, okay, how about this one? In cooking, what term is given to the lowest form of heating on a stove? In cooking, what term is given 
to the lowest form of heating on a stove. Who said that? Oh yeah, back from the sky, simmer, correct. You're at 15, my friend. Yep, it's simmer. Okay, who, it says is, so I guess these were made back when he was a host, but <clears throat> let's thank the original host. Who was the host of the long running TV show, The Price is Right? We could say who's the original, maybe. Price is Right. Who was the host? Back from the sky, got it. Bob Barker. Good old Bob. Yep, Bob Barker. <laughs> so back from the sky, you're at 16. Okay, friends. So how about we just finish the uh, these last three questions and then we'll call it a night. What time is it here anyways? It is... Oh boy, my son has it in military time. Let's see. Oh, it's already seven o'clock my time. Oh yeah, seven o'clock for us, uh, Joy. It's gonna be dinner time soon. We haven't had dinner yet. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know this one. My son asked me this one earlier. I didn't even know it. From what animal does cashmere wool come from? I was surprised. Oh, it's 10 your time, Joy. Oh, you're in New York City, huh? From what animal does cashmere? Joy, you got it right. It's a goat. <clears throat> and Jamie got it. Joy, you got it first on my screen. Joy's at 19 points. Okay. Demi Moore began her acting career on which American soap? Joy Tucker's in Hawaii. I'm um, oh, Hawaii in Ohio. And back from the sky said camel. No, Joy, it's not. Demi Moore began her acting career on the um, on which American soap? Uh, Jamie got it. General Hospital. Yes. <laughs> Joy. Joy Tucker, I said you're in Hawaii. <laughs> She's like, I wish. Jamie, you got a point, my friend. General Hospital was correct. So uh, Journey North got it. Okay, anybody know what's a scrunchie? <clears throat> What is a scrunchie? Yes, Joy Stewart. Joy, you're at 20 now. Joy's at 20. Back from the sky is at uh, 16. Joy Tucker and Journey North are at one and back from the sky says it keeps your ponytail together yes sir it does it's okay um joy tucker don't worry about it we're just having a little fun it's okay if you type slow Okay, the product equal, the product equal is a low calorie alternative to what? 
equal is a low calorie alternative to what? Uh, Jamie got it. Sugar. That's right. Sugar. <laughs> Back from the sky says, we have to get Joyce Stewart to type with her pinkies. Why? Because she's too fast? Okay. She's too fast, huh? Tablet keyboard bets phone. Oh, beats phone. Yeah, I bet it does. It's just the phone is more convenient for me to get around, take it here, one room to the other, go outside. It's just convenient. So I rarely use a laptop. <clears throat> okay, friends, next question. What would you use an Emery board for? What would you use an Emery board for? Back from the sky, you got it. Actually, yes, for filing. Nails. Okay, I'll give it to you. Back from the sky, you got a point. You're welcome, my friend. How about... Does anybody know this one? My son asked me this. I had no clue about it. How long is a fortnight? How long is a fortnight? A week. Close, Joy, but no cigar, my friend. Who said that? Someone said that last night. I think it was Jerry Holly. How long is a fortnight? Joy Tucker got it. Two weeks. Two weeks. Another point for you, Joy Tucker. I know, me too. That's why I told my son. I said, I heard of that video. I heard of that as a video game, but I never knew it meant anything else. Yes, Joy Tucker, you got yourself a point, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. What name is given to the process of removing dead or dry skin from your body? What's the name? What name is given to the process of removing dead or dry skin from your body? Wow, you got it right. Exfoliating. Back from the sky, got it. <coughs> Back from the sky, got it. Okay, friends, we're going to go ahead and end the stream with this last question. In a traditional Christian wedding ceremony, on what hand does a bride wear her engagement ring? Really? I didn't know that. No, you both, Joy Tucker's got it. It's right. The right hand. According to the, uh, according to the card. The right hand. Okay, so let's see. I never was cut out for marriage. Aw, Jamie, why not, my friend? What? I wore mine on the wrong hand. <laughs> That's what it says here, Joy. You think it's a misprint? It's right here. My ring is on my left hand and it's going to stay there. 
Yeah, I guess maybe it was something back in the day and maybe they switched it around. <clears throat> it's possible they changed it somewhere along the way. I believe you, but I believe it's supposed to be on the left. Yeah, everybody wears it on the left. Okay, friends, so let's see who came in of everybody in the chat right now. We have... It's worn there only for the ceremony. Joy Tucker said it's only worn there for the ceremony. I never knew that. Back from the sky, it's, our age is just a number. <clears throat> okay, friends. So, let's see. Okay, we have Miss Joy ending her night with 20 points. Back from the sky came in with with um 15 16, 17, 18 points and uh, mr j1 joy tucker three and journey north two put put two yep good job thanks for coming in jamie okay friends joy congrats you were our winner tonight when we ended and it was nice having fun with all of you so we'll go ahead and do this again sometime soon, friends. Thank you so much, everyone, for stopping in and uh, hanging out with me and doing some trivia. And we will do it again. Everyone in the chat, have a good night. And thank you. And God bless you all, my friends. Have a good night. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Have a great night. It was a lot of fun. Hope to do it again soon. Yeah, we will. Back from the sky. We will, my friend. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. <clears throat>